Hi. Who's that? Okay, everybody here? Okay, so let me get my doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Let's try it again. So if you're on the second round, say something. Say here, let me know if it's a better, um, a better thing. Like, let me know if I'm breaking up really bad. I get the delay, that I'm used to, but if it's breaking up, it's really hard for you to enjoy it. Okay, so let's go back to what we were working on, and I'm just doing a black paste that will dry smudge proof um, once we're done. So, and I have a little bucket of water off here behind me. So, anybody here? Somebody give me a thumbs up that we're doing better. All right, here we go. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take our chalk paste. This was supposed to be a fast project. I was gonna hop on and be done in 15 minutes or so, but because I had to start over, it's not such a quickie. And then I'm just, our wood is super seamless. So I'm just coming in. And I know that I have blank space that I could add something to, but I don't think I want to. Actually, I'm probably gonna add a ribbon, I'm lying. I am gonna add a ribbon to give it a 3D look. And then that's all I'm doing here. I'm gonna come through and pick up the extra. Well, hello, Miss Linda. And all I'm gonna do is pick up the extra chalk paste. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. Look how that looks. That black and white is gorgeous. Black and white check. But I don't think that I have, I do have a red ribbon and I may do one red ribbon across the top. Black one. So let's see if we can do. All we're gonna do is I'm gonna take both ribbons, bring them around, change my mind again, I think. Sometimes I have to play for a minute until I decide what I want to do. And then I... I put the red everywhere. So I think I'm just going to cut my ribbon at an angle. And I'm gonna do two of them like that. Just the same size, yeah, like that. Just give it a little bit of pop. So basically what I'm wanting to do is I'm gonna lay it inside. Yeah, and then I know that, and I'm just gonna kinda of come in with the red and I'm gonna actually undo the bow that I already had done because I just wanna lay. So, and I want him to just park himself right at the very top. I guess I could have him park himself, tweak it a little bit so that it stays put. Yes, that is what I'm doing. Park himself right there. And then I will tighten my bolts. See, just tighten them. And if you do it right, okay, you guys, I was trying to do it upside down, but this is really hard. Upside down. Happy tonight, guys. I'll have to come back in and fix the 
red. I was trying to get the red to stay in place while I'm doing my bunny ears, and it was being a little complicated. So, looking pretty. So we're just gonna kinda, and I can trim. I do a fine bow when I'm not trying to put it on the ribbon. Yeah, see? How hard could this be? Paris, and this will just add, tie it all together. And voila, look at that. And I need to clean up my edge right here. And I didn't want a really big bow, so I might have to come in and just tighten it all, all up. Just don't want to tighten too much. Demo that ended up taking a little bit longer. Thanks for hanging out with me.